Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial which is different for me because it's been a while since I did my last one. I was kind of scarred by the comments of the last one, just quietly. Um, but I've been doing a lot of makeup and trying like different looks and stuff on my Instagram and a lot of you have been asking to see what I do and how I do my makeup. So I thought I would show you. Now I have been trying to do like that foxy eye trend. I think I've like done like my version of it, which is what this video will be. It'll be like glowy, bronzy, makeup also my makeup brushes are dirty we're just gonna ignore that I don't know how girls do like their makeup and then like they tie their hair up and it looks cute like I don't know how to do that maybe let's maybe we'll just do it behind the ears for now also I'm missing a few products because I've been in isolation and I like, haven't ordered them because I can't like justify it So we'll just ignore that and just imagine what my face would look like with those products I'll just tell you what I would have used and then you guys can use that if you have it you probably do This is what I mean by talking too much Okay, so first thing that I do is put on primer Now I like the Fenty Hydrating Primer This is bomb, I have dry skin and I feel like it is very important for like a nice like base to have nice skin um, because I feel like when it's like crusty, your makeup's crusty and that's gross. So I just put it on me face and I put it around my eyes and stuff as well to just really hydrate that. I have just finished doing my skincare routine so my skin is nice and plump. And now we are just going to smack her on. And then we are going in with, notice how I say we, like it is in, an inclusive video. I think this is the one. This is shade orange. There's 255. This is um, the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This is another one of my favorite foundations at the moment. It is very similar to the NARS She Glow, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this color right now for me is just working. Um, we have fake tan on ladies, so we're gonna try and match that. I just basically put that on my skin um, and then I will use this brush. Now, I burnt my other brush when I was trying to dry my brushes after washing them. I was like drying them with the hair dryers and I burnt the bristles. So we have this one which is just as good. It's the Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer and I like, I like that it's like flat here and I just like press it into my face. So this is my Instagram makeup. This is not my everyday makeup. I will do a five minute makeup tutorial, which is basically what I do, what I've been doing in isolation, like when I want to feel a bit nice, um, but it's like no foundation, like nothing. Um, Cause I am, I'm lucky to have kind of good skin. I bring it down my neck as well um, and try and cover that X mascara and we see how that matches guys. Um, and then that's what the foundation looks like. It's it's not like a wow foundation. Like, you know when people put foundation on, it's like, whoa. Like, it's just there. And I like it because I can build it up with different products and stuff. And by the end of it, my skin is looking photo ready. Um, so this is the Nude Stick Tinted Blur Stick. I like this because it is not, like, overly opaque. Like, it doesn't, like, give you, like, a block of colour. Um, it just does uh, enough, you know? And then I'll go in and just buff my chin in. Get rid of that double chin. Because it's not like a, like a block colour, like it blends in really nicely. I don't know, I really like it. But then I'm going in with the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. And this is in the shade G Light 2. Um, and this is really, really bright. So I put this here to really brighten up the area and it's very, very good at covering things. And then I will use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and like bring it around and just lift the eye area a little. I feel like I've been seeing this on TikTok everywhere. People are loving doing this. Now, highlighting here doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know why it just doesn't work, so I don't do that. Now I'm just going to take my Wet Beauty Blender and I'm just going to buff my concealer into my skin. Um, I try not to bring it too far down because like I said before, we don't want to cover 
the freckles too much. And then whilst I'm like got my beauty blender out, I will run the beauty blender all over my face and just make sure everything is all buffed in together. But I do use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I just put that underneath my eyes. Not like a lot, lot, but like enough. And I will just put that there. And then I'm going to go and do my eyebrows. Now, your girl here does not know how to do her eyebrows <laughs> at all. I will not lie. I can't do my eyebrows for shit because I've never learned and my eyebrows are just a weird shape. If you had my eyebrows, you would know. Um, but I just kind of like change how I do them every day. So today, we'll just see what happens. So also, I'm not a makeup artist, guys. Do not come for me. You have just very, very commonly requested makeup tutorials from me, and I like doing makeup, so this is what we're getting. This is all we're getting. Then I use the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit, and I put the gel in my hair. I mean, put the gel in my eyebrows, and I will brush my brows up and just make them look really messy, try and look like a model's brows, you know? Now I did try and do like a home job of like my eyebrows and like cutting them and shaping them. I've never had my eyebrows like done done, like I've never had them tinted. I think I've had them like shaped once or twice. Wow, that was that was horrible. I tried to do it at home because I was like, wow, they're getting long. See, like they're getting like so long. But I did not do that well and now I have a little staircase in my brows. Like outline. And I'll go around the top as well. That's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and buff away this underneath my eyes. And hope that it's set it nicely. These aren't staying on. If you guys can recommend a gel that helps your eyebrows stay all the way up all the time. Maybe I'll just go get them laminated. So then for my bronzer, I use the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer on this brush by Benefit and I like put that in like nice little circular motions on my underneath like my cheekbones. I like how warm this is. It's like brought like a little bit more dimension into the face. So I just run it over my nose as well. This blush by Hourglass. I would use the NARS blush in Lustre but isolation we don't have that. This is still really beautiful. It's like a nice pinky, which I like. This is the shade, what's it called? It's the Ambient Blush, Mecca Glow. I don't know. Anyway, it's got like highlighter in it, which I like, glowy. And then I will use this MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. And I put that like on top of the blush. And I feel like that always gives it like a nice glow. And I put it on my forehead as well. It's not like a very intense highlighter on me. I'm sure it could be. So that's what I do so far for my face. And then I'll move on to my eyes and then I'll go and finish my face. I don't know why. It's just the order that I do. Um, so I love these Fenty Snap Shadows. So they've got, it's like two separate shadows, but you can click them together. So I've got three and five. And it basically makes like your perfect, like, eyeshadow palette which is so good um i love the number five it's got nice orange shadows in it which is very much up my alley and i just use the number five and the middle orange shade here and i will put it on the outer corner of my eye and then just bring it in when i blend it out and this is like starting to build my little foxy lifted eye that we're we said we're going for Again, no makeup artist. So this is just, I'm just showing you guys what I do um, and what I like on myself. I think that's okay. Um, and then I will go ahead and flip my little shadow palette around and I'll use this shade out of the top. I think it's like a taupey brown. And I'll put that on the like corner of my eye again. It's catty, smoky. That's not like overboards. Now like flick it out. And I will use the um this brown out of the number three 
and I'll use it on a wing liner brush, which is this one from Zoeva. And I will put it like here. And just like flick it out. And I'll do the same here. Make sure they're a little bit even. I blend it out anyway, so it's okay. And then I'll like bring it in. And I'll go like darker towards the lash line. But that's basically what it looks like. Anyway, that's what it's looking like. And then I will use a tiny little pencil brush and I'll go in again with the brown shade and just bring that closer like towards the eyelid. And I will blend it out again. Before I go in with the eyeliner, I do like to try and clean it up a little. So I go back in with the Hello Happy Powder by Benefit. And I like use this little angled brush. I don't know where it's from. But I just clean it up. And it brightens this area a lot. And makes the eyeshadow look super snatched. I use my finger if I have to. And I like bring it all the way up. Like the temple. And that just, I'm going to go ahead and line. So I've been doing eyeliner for a very long time on myself. And now that I've said that, I probably will stuff it up. I like to do a tiny one thin and then bring it in like about here on my eyeball because I don't like the thickness around the top um, when I've got this look because I want it to look sleek and thin. Um, so you'll see. I don't know how I'm probably not going to be able to talk during this time, but. When I'm doing something like this, I like to like flick out the ends like really slyly and make them super like. Um, but that's basically what I do for like liquid liner and then I will go in with that orange shade that I used on my lid and I'll put that on my bottom lash line just to make it all look nice and put together. I will go ahead with and use that um, winged liner brush and I will line like in here um, to make it look a bit more Foxy. I do like to do my inner corner highlight first so then when I do this it doesn't stuff it up so I use the MAC Soft and Gentle and I'll just put that on my inner corner and then I will go ahead and line the inner corners of my eyes so I use this angled brush and I use the dark shadow out of this Fenty pack and I basically like it's a really easy way to do this whole foxy eye thing um, because the brush basically does it all for you. So, oh, as long as you're gentle, it just helps. Like, as you can see, that's like super, like defined the inner corner a lot more than that. And then, if I like to, I will do like a little extra bit that goes in out just outside the inner corner. And that's just really defined the inner corners and then I will go in with the tiny little brush and the same brown eyeshadow and just join the liner from the top down the outer corners and bring it in a little bit further down the eye and that just defines the outer corner a little bit more as well you're gonna kill me but I don't actually know the name of the lashes that I'm gonna be using I know that they're velour lashes and they are like a cat eye effect. I'll try and find them, but I just put mascara on before I do my lashes. This is the Tarte Surfer Curl. And this mascara is actually really nice. It doesn't um, clump your lashes too much. It just se separates them, which is what I like. And this is me with the lashes on. So I'm just going to go and put a bit of mascara on to blend them in together with my natural lashes. 
And then I will go ahead and put my bottom lash mascara on. So I use the Kevin Aucoin The Volume Mascara. This is perfect for your bottom lashes because it separates everything so nicely. Um, and it doesn't smudge or anything, which is what I've always struggled with. And it looks so good. I love this mascara so much. It's probably one of like my holy grail products. I love it. And then I'm going to go in and just do my highlight. I think I showed you guys before. I use the Soft and Gentle by MAC. And I just put that. I might give her a bit of a spray again. So I spray the brush. And then I'll go in on the product. And that is literally blinding. And I like to just put it like, not like right there. Like nowhere else. And that always looks great when I want like a makeup photo um, and then I'll use my finger and I'll do my lip cupid's bow I'm gonna put my lipstick on first and then I line my lips I find that that's like a heaps better way for me to make them super defined so I'm gonna put the velvet teddy on the outside And then I'm going to put Honey Love in the middle. And then I use Spice and I'll line them to define them. Um, I also will sometimes put on a gloss with this look, which I love as well. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And I put that on and it is so nice. Oh my god, I completely forgot to like bake under here. If I ever do that, I will just pick up my beauty blender and like go under here. Just to define the cheekbones a little more. Okay, well, wow. So this is the makeup look all done. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I know that you want to see more. Let me know what other makeup tutorials you would like to see me do. And yeah, I'll put my Instagram here if you want to go and follow it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.